Okay, let's look at a special case. Let's look at a constant pressure process. Um, all right, this may be one of the most important pages um, in our notes from here on out. This is something that I didn't comprehend. I don't think I really understood it when I took this class. I, I barely understood when I'm now I'm teaching this class. Um, I think I finally got it. Um, and this is what most people don't get. This is where a lot of mistakes will happen. Please understand this page in our notes if you don't understand anything else. It'll show up in a bunch of our problems. Okay, so let's look at a closed system that is stationary. Most of ours are stationary, meaning the change of kinetic energy is zero. The change of potential energy is zero. And it's undergoing a constant pressure process. Then the Q in and minus all the Q outs, uh, minus the boundary work. Okay, I'm putting minus here because in general, boundary work is expansion. Boundary work is work out. How do I like to, to classify work out as negative, right? I like, I like to say everything in is positive, everything out is negative. Your book is going to say, already have that negative right there, and it says that positive work is, is out. But uh, So all the Q in minus any expansion boundary work minus any work out and plus any work in equals delta U. We don't have any delta KE, any delta PE because it is stationary. All right, so for a constant pressure process, we have an equation for boundary work, right? We have an equation for boundary work, so let's plug that in. It is PV2 minus V1, all right? Minus any work, so any other, so this is work, this is other work other than boundary work, right? That term is other work other than boundary work equals U2 minus U1 equals U2 minus U1. Now, what if we uh, subtract this uh, to the other side of our equation? Then we've got QN minus work out other than boundary work equals, uh, so if we bring this to the other side of our equation, subtract it over here, it becomes plus PV2 minus V1. Um, I'm going to kind of combine the twos, the state twos together. Here's state two and here's state one. Uh, and it becomes something like U2 plus PV2 minus U1 plus PV1. All right, U2 plus PV2 minus U1 plus V or plus PV1. Now, we barely skimmed over it earlier on in the semester, but this is the definition for enthalpy. That right there is enthalpy, right? So that right there is H2. That right there is H1. Because this happens so much, um, we've gone ahead and made, made up this state enthalpy, which combines U plus the pressure times the volume. And so it is the enthalpy, and it is listed in the chart, enthalpy. It's listed in our chart, so here we go, here we go. This is what we're getting to. Q plus W, not including boundary work. Any, This is any other work besides boundary work, equals change in enthalpy. So we don't have to calculate boundary work if we have enthalpy on the right-hand side of our equation. Did, did y'all get that? We don't have to calculate boundary work for a constant pressure process Sorry, let me clarify. For a constant pressure process, for a constant pressure process, if we're looking at enthalpies, then we don't have to calculate boundary work. Don't have to calculate boundary work because it is inside of the enthalpy term. Isn't that cool? All right, so now any heat in and out, any work in and out besides boundary work equals delta H for a constant pressure process. Now, um, 
how about a rigid tank? So so let's let's kind of come up with with an, an idea for a rigid tank. For a rigid tank, right? A process or or just any process without boundary work or boundary work is zero, then it would be Q plus W, W would be any work other than boundary work, equals delta U. So for a constant volume process, right? Constant volume process, then we use delta U on the other side of our equation. So, so again, we don't have to calculate boundary work because boundary work is zero for a constant volume process. Okay, but what about a different process for any other process? Right? If it's a constant pressure process, delta H on the right-hand side, and don't calculate boundary work. If it's a constant volume process, delta U on the right-hand side, and don't calculate boundary work. But for any other process, we do need to calculate boundary work. The Q plus boundary work plus work equals delta U. So for this one, we do calculate, do calculate boundary work. Let's remember, so this, this is where I deviate from the book a little bit. Remember, our, e our boundary work equations are, are generally for expansion. All right, so, so all those equations that we derive for constant, you know, for polytropic process, for isothermal expansion, ideal gas process, those processes, those were boundary work equations, and, and those gave us the expansion boundary work. Uh, but... Expansion is out. Expansion is out. So when we go to this equation to plug them in, it depends on where you want to put the negative. You could go ahead and put the negative right here. Or what I do is I calculate the boundary work. I ask myself, okay, was that expansion or compression? If it was expansion, I know expansion is out. And this is all in, positive, out, negative. This equation right here is in, positive, out, negative. Our boundary equations, though, are, are kind of opposite. They're expansion out. So um, maybe, maybe I'm making it more confusing than it is, but it makes more sense to me to have this equation as in, positive, out, negative. In, positive, out, negative. In, positive, out, negative. But just be careful because those boundary work equations that we derived are equations for expansion boundary work. And expansion boundary work is boundary work out. Whew. Okay, so let's, let's step back and look at this right here. This second half of this page, a very important page in our notes. For a constant pressure process, Q plus W equals delta H, and don't calculate boundary work. For a constant volume, Q plus W equals delta U, and don't calculate boundary work. But for any other process, Q plus W equals delta U. All right, not delta H. Okay, delta U. And we do calculate boundary work on the left-hand side of our equation right here. All right? Highlight that. Favorite this video, right? Come back to this page in our notes uh, when you're wondering, should I use H? Should I use U? Use H if it's constant pressure process. Use U if it's constant volume process. Any other process, use U and WB. U and WB. All right. So let's practice with some problems.